Okay, so this is the walkthrough tutorial for what I would consider the bonus face-off that you can um, uncover somewhere in the game. Now, if you don't know who Chef Yagu is, if that doesn't ring a bell, I recommend not watching this video at all and coming back to it if you feel like you need a tutorial on the face-off if you ever get there. So let me, you've been warned, I'm gonna put the cards down. So here's the orientation of the face-off. Now the cool thing is if you get here in two players, um, it's gonna actually be a little bit different. It's one of the um, only, uh, it is the only face-off in the game that actually has a, a, a completely different hook to it if um, you come here with two players. They all have a, a variance to them, but this one actually has something a little bit different. So that's kind of fun. Anyhow, I'm gonna go through the rules for one player and it says Hildegard may either shoot at Chef Yagu or the Keg Spigot. If either target is defeated or destroyed, reveal the win card on the Chef or Keg. Otherwise, reveal the lose card from Hildegard. So this is kind of what's different about this is we have two different targets and each of them have a result card. So if you take a look here, and the keg spigot, if we actually destroy this first, we're gonna immediately go to 228. If we beat the chef, we're gonna to go to 226. And if we lose to the chef, we're gonna to go to 227. And that's really the uh, difference in this face off versus the other ones. The choice that you have to make is, again, how to distribute your shot dice. You know, you can put them here, you can put them here, or you can put them into blocks which again, I can't stress enough how important it is on this one because this is admittedly the hardest encounter in the game and he only takes six hits to get you. So you've got this area that you really want to keep loaded up with blocks and you can do it immediately since it starts the colored one. You got these terrible uh, negative effects, which is grays, which is no, um, which is no finesse on, on the shot. So it, it, it's, it's tough, it's tough. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a few sets and we'll see if I can stay alive. Good luck to me. So here we go. The accuracy is three for Hildegard. So we're going to roll and we are off to what I would say not a good start. Um, we're going to, I guess we're just going to keep this because potentially if we were to roll those two, we could fill all three of those with blocks. I don't think that's going to happen, but that's the only play we have. So we're going to keep that there. Okay. Wow. All right. So right now we could do all of this. And this is a tough one because that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to roll our... Wild shot, and we got a bullseye. Okay, so this is great. This is probably best case scenario. So we're gonna put, <clears throat> we're gonna put our three blocks here. A little fiddly, okay, our three blocks there. So that's these, I'm just gonna move those off. And then we got a bullseye. So I can choose where to put it on either one. The conservative thing to do would be to put it here because this is a little bit tougher to hit due to the combinations you can get to to get it so i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna play it safe put all my blocks in do my one bullseye on chef yagu and then we're going to see how he fares now this is going to be tough for him because he needs to get all three of these blocks out of here in order before he can start hitting us he has an accuracy of four so i mean we'll see how this plays out Okay, so he has those first two blocks that we put up. He has those, he's knocked those out. So we'll just leave those there for the moment. Now what we know is that he needs to get this half circle. So he's gonna reroll these two, try and get that half circle. He did not get it. So we have to keep one of these. We're gonna keep this one. All right, so the result from this is that he was able to eliminate two blocks. Now, if this were to remain the same 
For him to actually hit us, he's going to need to get two half circles. That's how he would hurt us. All right, so it's our turn. I'll go through two more rounds here. We'll see how this how this uh, unfolds. Okay. So right now, we could fill this all up again, but it's a, I really want to get another hit on him, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one for a block. I'm going to roll this one again um, with the intent of getting the pip, getting that dot. I did not. <sighs> okay, but we could get a bullseye. We can either put a block here or we can get that bullseye there. Now I'm going to roll my wild shot and I got a scratch. So we're just going to pull, we're going to use it to get rid of the circle because we don't need it anyhow. So now it's up to, now I really need to decide how this is going to work. Um, it's not exciting. It's, it's, you always want to get the bullseyes, but if he gets me here and he gets even this number two, it, this really puts me in a bad spot. And I'm just trying to decide if I should play defense. I'm going to put the bullseye on. And I can't stop now. I was going to stop. But let's see what he does. Let's see if I can survive this. Now, now actually, before I roll, I, I didn't have this you know, set up. But if you have um, a feat of marksmanship, you could spend one to add a block. You know, if you had two feet of marksman, you could spend one to get another bullseye on him and just kind of get him down as quickly as possible. But we're going to pretend like I don't have any feats of marksmanship and that we just have to deal with it. So let's see how this goes. Okay. We're going to place that there because he could potentially get it. He still needs to get two half circles to make this work. He can't use any of these three things. So we're going to roll. Okay. So now he has that, and potentially use this. Now we're going to reroll this. Okay, so let's sort this out now. So the first thing is that he removed this block. Then you can see that all three of these line up, but he needed to get another half circle to get it all. So we're kind of, we're actually all right. We're all right for the moment. We're, we're holding on, we're holding on. So. Again, I, I just can't stop. I got to see how this unfolds. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to roll. Okay, we can put this block down. We need this. We're hoping for big things here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm going to put the two blocks down. And that's all we can do. Let's go another round. See what he does. Okay, so he could potentially use this and he could potentially use this. He can't use these two. So we're gonna see if he gets what he needs. I don't, he can't use this, but we'll keep it. So this, it really boils down to this. If this is a black half circle and it is, oh, oh, you're killing me. All right, so here's how, let's, uh, let's work this out. Black gets rid, of the, gets rid of the block. This gets rid of this block. This puts a hit down. So he has one hit on us. Okay. Problem is I'm just not getting the bullseyes I need right now. I'm not getting them. Reroll, or reroll this one. Okay, here we go. This is another scary moment. I'm going to see. I, I want to put the bullseye here, but I just know he's going to peg me, so I'm going to have to put it here. I'm going to have to play conservative. I'm going to put it here, and that's going to be my turn. It kills me, but that's going to be my turn. Okay, we'll see if we can hold them off. I don't think so. He has that. He's going to reroll these. He needs another black. He's not going to get it, and he can't use any of this stuff, which is great. Still doesn't have what he needs. 
Okay. That's, uh, we're fine with that. We're back with him just, bull you know, hitting the block. Now let's, let's go. This is the time. Good. We got one. Let's get, let's get what we need. Okay, so we have one bullseye. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. So we have three bullseyes. Owen has two more on him. So, like I said, if, if I had a feet, I would definitely use it. If I had two of them, get another bullseye on him. Um, I would use whatever I have available to me because this fight is too difficult to not use a feet of marksmanship on it. So if you come here and you don't have one, you can see the difficulty I'm having. Since I just can't help myself, we're going to see how he does. See, he's already got a hit. He doesn't have a hit, but he's going to hold on to this one. Luckily, he doesn't have a hit. Doesn't have a hit. All right, so he got one. We're still ahead, but not by much, and it's grazed. So if I were to roll my three, it's going to have to stay where it is, which is terrible. And we got a bullseye. Woo! So there you go. It's a tough fight. And I'm one off. I'm one off. Had I used the feed, if I had to, I could knock him out right now. Um, but, um, yeah, that's it. Have fun, you guys.